This is how you make scrolling timeline animation in Premiere Pro. Alright, let's kick things off by importing a background onto the timeline and adding some text. You can do this by using the type tool or simply pressing T. I'll be typing in numbers to represent the years at 5 year intervals. Next, head over to the Essential Graphics panel. If you're having trouble finding it, just check out the window menu. In this panel, you can make any adjustments to the font. To center the text vertically, just hit the vertical align button. Now, let's move the text slightly to the right. To give it a cool motion blur effect, go to the effects panel and search for Gaussian blur. Once you find it, double click to apply it to the text layer. In the effects controls panel, click on the stopwatch next to position and blurriness. This will set the starting keyframe. Then, move for seconds forward and set the blurriness to zero for the final keyframe. Also, adjust the position to the left until the end of the text. Alright, let's go to seconds back and set the blurriness to 180. And to add a horizontal blur only, change the blur dimensions to horizontal. To make the animation nice and smooth, expand the position and click and drag on the keyframes to access handles. For a focus on the middle of the text, let's add a rectangle mask for opacity. Set the mask feather to 200. If you find the animation is a bit slow, you can adjust the distance between the keyframes. Feel free to experiment by adding an extra timeline indicator and adjusting its scale and position. Now, let's repeat the process of adding Gaussian blur, animating position and blurriness, and adding a mask. Just make sure to add keyframes to the mask path to keep it from moving along with the image. I think it would be better if we change the distance of our blurriness and set the middle value to 45. And don't forget to apply the same smooth animation to our position keyframes for the text and timeline indicator. Finally, let's add a sound effect to give it that extra oomph. And this is what we'll end up with. 